Hi there, this is Ingrid and welcome to another really quick simple project. Today we have a one layer card that features this stamp set, the Doodle Flowers by Happy Little Stampers. To get started, I have a folded card panel. It's four and a quarter by five and a half inches and I'm just going to rub a de-static tool all over it. We're gonna take a little bit of painter's tape and I'm gonna remove some of the tack from the back with my fingers first before laying it down. Now my goal is to have a quarter inch border around. So I'm just kind of eyeballing where I want my top to be as well as my sides. So here we have that on and I'm gonna put another piece of scrap copy paper, just kind of attach that to the top because I don't want any sponging or anything that I do stamping going onto that portion of the card. We're gonna use some Versamark ink by Sukuniko and I'm going to ink up the largest flower from this set. I'm going to do a little tiny bit of more de-static tool just in case any of my fingers touch that interior surface. I'm figuring out exactly where to put my largest stamp and I'm starting in the center so that I can go outward from there and create an even pattern. Now I'm speeding up the rest of this and I'm going to sped up different portions of this video just to make it a nice quick video. This is a really super simple project and it's quick and has such a nice punch and you can do any images that you want here. You can see I've added an alternate alternating pattern of three of the flowers. And now we're gonna add some white embossing powder and heat set it. Once dry, I'm gonna use Stampin' Up Crumb Cake ink and a sponge tool. And we're gonna lightly sponge our little window area. Now, I don't know if you just noticed, but I clearly did not heat set all my flowers. So I ended up rubbing some away. So don't fret, I'm gonna show you how to fix that in case that ever happens to you. The key here is to dry everything because this is Distress Ink and Distress Ink remains wet and will attract embossing powder. So I have to thoroughly dry that before moving on and re-stamping my image. Now, because this is embossed, the embossed part's really gonna resist the ink. So I'm not really gonna get a double stamped image. And you wanna really line this up really well. And the way that this stamp is designed it has the specific pattern of where the dots are, so it's really easy to find exactly where the stamp belonged. Now, once you've thoroughly heat set the remaining embossing powder, you want to next remove the built up ink on your embossed images by lightly spritzing a towel and gently moving it across your images to remove that ink and allow them to pop. Now to remove your painter's tape, you're gonna do this very slowly at an angle so that you don't tear your paper. And I left that at 100% speed so you can see how slow I actually go. Next, we're gonna use a crumb cake marker. And this is the same color as the ink. And we're just going to highlight little spots in the doodles. So I'm gonna color in some of the circles, just kind of outline some of the edging as well as some of the center of the flowers. And once I've completed this, I'm gonna come in here with an early espresso marker, which is a darker brown, and I'm just going to create some dots around just to fill in the scene a little bit. To finish up the card, I'm gonna stamp a greeting from this stamp set in early espresso ink, and that's it. You have a real quick, easy, clean and simple one layer card. Isn't it cute? I love it. Here are some close ups for you. If you like this quick and simple project, be sure to give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to the channel so that you're notified the next time that we have a really cool project for you. Till then, bye bye.